Hey, what's going on? Matthew Tamian from LearnJoomlaFast.com. So I get tons of questions from you guys about different things about Joomla. So today I wanted to do a video for a question that I just recently received from Michelle Torres. And the question is, he said, great video. I use Balboa Gridbox on my websites. Could you please compare Gridbox with Quicks and SP Page Builder? So that is exactly what I'm doing right now. I am going to compare and show you guys all three of them. These are some of Joomla tops page builders that you want to build websites with. So if you're looking, uh, if you're thinking about creating a website, right, with Joomla, you're going to need a page builder. But there are so many of them out there. Which one should you use? What are some of the benefits or uh, disadvantages? Or so we're going to explore that right now. Okay. So these are three of Joomla heavy hitters. Um, like I said, there's a few more out there. Uh, but since he want me to compare this three, that's what we're going to do. So the first one, I will take a look at here. This is the Quicks, uh, Quicks page builder by theme expert has a lot of great features, has, uh, the ranking feature in it, which separates it for a lot from the other page builders. Uh, it just overall is really great, you know? Uh, so the next one we're going to take a look at, this is the Balboa, the grit box, grit box is one too, that they've done a lot of development over time they've actually integrated uh the ability for you to create like an online store e-commerce within it so this is one of the features that separates that from the rest and now let's take a look at sp page builder and they've been around for a little bit longer than the other ones uh and they have a lot of great features a lot of great add-ons so we were going to take a demo look at all three of these and how you can be able to use them to build your website so let's go over first to quicks you go to themexpert.com and you go to quicks and let's click on the try free. So this is going to give you the front end demo for what you can be able to do. So let's click try free. So when you try live, this is what their dashboard, the front end looks like. So if you want to create a website, this is where you start and you can be able to build from here. But if you're just getting started, right, uh, you're probably figuring, you know, how does this thing even work? What do I need to do? How do I need to go? So let me give you a quick overview of how this works. Right here, this is where you're going to put in uh, your page title. So whatever title that you want to use for your page, this is where you're going to put it. And then when you click on here, it shows you all the extra pages uh, that you have on your existing site. So all this here, when you put your mouse here, it shows you can scroll down. So you can easily switch between pages by clicking each one here to edit. That's one of the beautiful things about it is that uh, it is really easy for you to get to. Okay. So you, you're working on multiple pages. You put your mouse and you click on there and you can switch. Now, if you want to create a new page, this is where you click, you create a new page right here. And when you go to the settings, you have the page build page settings. So the page settings are the settings for the particular page. Now, let's say you wanted to, you want to build a membership website and on this site, you don't want everyone to have access to the members page. Well, this is where the page settings you can be able to come. You see the status you have on publish, you have archive, you have trash. If you don't want for the public to have access to this, then you would have to set this to register or anything below this. The, the general public would need to create an account or have an account on your website to be able to do so. And then you can choose the languages here with the style. You can choose the different styles. Uh, you can choose the age one selector. You can choose the topography. You can set everything that your site needs. In other words, uh, the font that you want to use for your website, whatever you set here, that is what the site generally is going to use unless you come back and say, you know what? I want to change it for this page. And the beautiful thing about it is you can set the font weight. You can set the height. You can set the texture. Uh, you can set even with the image optimization as well. So you can make sure that all your images have been optimized. So they'll load a lot faster uh, when people are browsing the site. And then, of course, you have to advance. If you want to do some, you know, CSS or JavaScripts, you can be able to do that. But the page option kind of gives you uh, everything that you need. And also the enable the AMP. Uh, this is for the mobile sites. So it helps your site to be, you know, mobile ready. Um, so let's click on apply. So once you've done your changes, you can click on apply, but I'm going to lift that at the general. And then the next thing is your SEO settings. 
One of the beautiful things that I really love about Quicks is that everything is right in front of you. And it's just, it's very simple. It's very basic. So if you're getting started, you know, you don't have to click around a whole lot to, you know, to kind of get things done. So this is where you put in your SEO title uh, for this particular page. Okay, this is not for your entire website now. Let me be clear. This is just for your specific page. Okay, so you can use this button to reset. You click this here, it can close. You click it to come down. So you put your title, your page title, page title, and then you put in your description right here for whatever you want it to be. And then for your SEO focus keywords, you put that right here. So if you want to target uh, let's say cars or houses or food or anything. You can put that here and you can put your face, your, your Twitter username here to connect to your tweets and your Facebook app ID that you can also connect here. So now you go to image optimization. This is where you can optimize your images. In other words, you want to put something here that uh, it shows people what this particular page is about. So you can click to delete it or you can click to add an image. When you click to add image, you can either upload an image that you already have an existing image or the beautiful thing about it is that if you don't have an image and let's say you want to find one, one another feature that makes me really love this is that you can use Unsplash. Unsplash is a website that they've integrated with this platform. They provide high quality free pictures professional, really, really awesome. So you can come to Unsplash and you can search for any photos that you want based on what you're working on. Now, I use this all the time because before the old way that other um, people do it is you have to go to a different website, then you download something. And once you download it, then you upload it to your site. Well, with quick, with quick, you don't have to do that. Unless you want to create something by cars. When you type in cars, it automatically gives you beautiful pictures of cars that you can choose from any one of them. You see here? So that's how you use that. Now let's X up here. So you can put the image here. So you can choose any car you want uh, and you can add it here. So once you've done that, you go to the settings to add open graph data, add Twitter card. Yes, you can set those to yes. And then you click on apply. Now you don't see anything here, but when you send a link to someone and then they pull up this page, that image that you put, that's what's going to show to them. Then you have here your quicks rank. This is going to tell you the rank of your content. Okay. As you build, you want to make sure that your site is optimized enough uh, so that people can be able to find you on social media. They can find you in search engines and all that beautiful stuff. And then here you have this image optimized image. Now, what this does is when you upload in your images, OK, usually uh, you would have to go use like some editing software to make sure that uh, the size of the image is not too large, because the larger the image, then the slower is going to upload. You know, so you want to make sure that your images are optimized properly. When you see this red, that means that you have to have to optimize the images that you have on your site. So we're going to take a look at that a little bit later on. And then if you want to preview what you've done, you click here uh, to be able to preview the content. It's not going to have all these bars and everything. It's just going to show you what the actual page looks like. And then if you want to save, you click on save. So let's do that now. And you get this message that this page has been saved. So now the next thing is, so you have this and you're starting from scratch. What do you do? How do you create your site? Uh, right up at the very top, you see desktop. You see tablet, you see mobile, and then you see toggle the, uh, the views here. So this is where you are going to be able to go between each one to see uh, how your, your content looks on different devices. This is very important, okay? Because when you're creating a website for different devices, people are going to view it sometimes from their cell phone, their tablets, and different things. So you want to make sure it works. And then right here, you have add section, and then you have add template. The add template, um, the add section here is going to allow you to create different sections. So when you click the add section here, it automatically activates this part. And then you, it, it shows you the different options here. So if you want to choose a certain layout, let's say you're working on something and you like how this laid out, this is telling you that all this individual columns here, you can be able to add items inside of it. OK, so you can add items inside of it. So right now I can choose one to one, one to two. Let's choose one to two so you can see how that looks. So I can add items or elements in here, whether it's a video, it's a link, 
uh, it's a text or anything, I can be able to click here and it's going to do this pop up. This is the element list. The element list list are all the different things that they offer. And you have all, you can scroll through to see all that they have. You have my elements. These are the custom ones that are based on this template. You have the general and you have the ones that are connected to Joomla core. Then you have the pro ones, okay? So the pro ones are the ones that's not part of the free section, but you can go through it all and you can get access to all of them. So these are the different items that you're going to be able to use if you want to be able to build your website, you can add counters, you can add countdowns. So let me just demonstrate a couple of these so you can see how that works. So let's say you want to come add an accordion right in this section. So we're gonna click here. So once you have the accordion, then you can be able to change uh, the different settings here. But accordions are great if you have a lot of items that you want to list. Uh, you can be able to list them in accordion format. So if you, you can either click to clone and if you clone it, it automatically adds to it. You can change the title. You can put title one and you can come in and put title two and so on and so forth. And you can even add an image here. As you see, you can delete this one to add um, something there. So let's go back here. You can close the first one. That's gonna show like that. So, but anyway, that is what the elements are for. So I'm gonna click something here. The elements allow you to add just about anything that you see right here. So I wanna add an image and an icon. So I can do it like this and I can click to delete. Let's find an image. You can also go to the icon section here. And I'm just gonna choose this Xbox right now. So that's the, the icon that I've chosen and I can make it, you know, bigger. Or I can make it smaller like this. You can drag it up. So I'm going to click here to apply. But the point of it is you can pretty much drag and drop anything that you want in the page. So if you want to extend this, you can drag it this way, left or right. And when you put your mouse over, you can use this arrow to move things all over. You can use this for the row settings. If there's something specific that you wanted to change for this particular row, you can do that changes here. Uh, so you can go to the default gap, no gaps. You can go to the style, you can change the background. So it's gonna change just the background just for this row, not the entire section here. So I wanted to do something else like this. And let's say if I wanted to change the background for this part here, I can click on the settings and I can go on the style. I can go to the background. When I change it, it changes the background for this entire section right here. As to where this one just changes, you know, this row settings. So you have a lot of flexibility with that now. If you want to do a great, like uh, two different colors, right here, you see this, you click on this, you can choose one color, you can switch between two colors like this. And it looks pretty cool, right? Because sometimes you may want to have that gradient look and you have two colors that you want to blend. Well, you can do that. And you can also add a uh, background type. You can choose something else to add on here. You can work with the overlays. So this is where you pretty much work with the row, the sections here that covers everything. Uh, so let's click and apply. So this gives you an idea of how you can add new row. This gives you an idea of how you can build your site block by block, step by step, right? So this is usually a way to go if you are uh, starting a site and you want to have more control over how everything looks. You can build, you can use the, the options here to give the amount of columns that you need, the rows that you need, and you can customize each one individually. So that is how the add section works. So let me come now and we're going to delete this. So we're starting back again with a blank slate. So the next part is the add template. It gives you a whole lot more than uh, just the uh, add sections, you know, because with the add templates, what this does is if you want to build a website and you don't know where to start, you need some inspiration uh, or you want to do things in record time, the add templates section is what I would recommend for you to start with. OK, because if you want to get something going, you can look at the layouts that you like. You can scroll through here like this with the drop down. Let's say you want to build something with the ad, you know, a pricing on you, click to insert. So let me show you how this works. We are going to build a basic web page really quickly. Okay, so you can either come here, you click on this, you can build this section by section, or you can just kind of scroll, scroll down. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mixture of clicking through here and a mixture of just choosing something. So let's say I want to build something. Uh, I can come here. I can go. I can go into the pages. Now with the pages one, this is building, you know, like on steroids. Uh, OK, what they've done is they've already built the page for you. So once again, you can go with the sections here to choose each section or you can go with the page. So let's take a look first at how the sections work. So let me I like this section. I'm going to click insert. And just like that, I have a beautiful heading. I have a header. I can change the text here to whatever I want this text to be. Start my own online business or whatever you want to call it. So right there, I've built this section. I can change this image. I can change the, the content, this buttons here. I can click to edit and I can put whatever I want it to be. This say about, but let's say I wanted to put order now. I can put that there, click on apply, learn more. I can change the colors of this. So next, let's go over again and go to another section. So you can either do that route, but let me just go and just delete this here. I'm just going to go to the add templates and it brings it to the section. So now we have this header part. We can either scroll down and say, hmm, what else do we want to add as part of our template? So we can scroll through here and see what we like, or we can also come in and just use this. So let's scroll through. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see we have a counter. OK, we can put a counter. I'm just going to click to insert this one. And just like that, I have this beautiful counter. Let's go back to add templates. Uh, I'm going to come through here again. Let's see. Uh, what do I want? Call to action. Do I want FAQ? So I want FAQ. So I'm going to click to grab and I click insert. And I like how that looks. And let's say I wanted to add another section to the site. Uh, come through here again. And I'm scrolling down. Let's say I wanted to do a portfolio. I'm just going to I like how this one looks. I'm going to insert that one. And as you can see, just like that, I am building a full fledged website. Let's go to add templates again. And let's say I wanted to add a call to action. Let me scroll through here. See which one that I like. Um, t -t -t you can pick any one. Let's see. I like this one. So I'm going to click to insert. And I like this. And now finally, let's say I wanted to add a price. OK, I'm selling something here. I wanted to add a price. So I'm going to scroll down. I see pricing. I click on the pricing. I can scroll through here, see which one I like from all of these. I like this one, so I'm going to click insert. And just like that, we've built a website within literally within minutes just by clicking and dragging things over. Now, you can also move things up or you can move things down by dragging up here. You can move it as you do that. It shows you where you can move things all around. Whether you want to move sections, you can also do that as well. And you notice here, things are very smooth. They're very easy. And it's very simple. So you want to see what this looks like on a tablet. That's what it's going to look like. And let's take a look at what it looks like on the cell phone. Now that's what it looks like on the cell phone. And just like that, you've built a solid website, right? You've built a really, really powerful website, something that you can customize. Customization means if you want to change this hair, you can click anywhere you put your mouse over. You can change every section. Let's say I wanted to change this more like this. I can drag it over or I can drag it like that. I can put it like that or I can leave it how it is. Uh, it, it's really simple. OK, so now that we've built a website, as you can see, we can go back and click this button here and it is going to remove all the things we've added. This like a redo button or undo button. So as we click the button, it's undoing the previous stuff that we did. Now we have just these. Another way to we can do it is you can put your mouse over here and then you can click on the delete. Do the same thing for this one. Put your mouse click on there. Click on delete. Click. And the reason I'm deleting these, I just want to show you how uh, if you wanted to build just a full blown template with one click, you can do that. OK, so we're back to from scratch again. So let's click the add template this time. And let's say you wanted to skip all this phase of dragging this and putting that there and you just want to go straight to uh, the core. So you go over to template, I mean, pages, the pages here. This is where a pre-designed websites. OK, so let's scroll through. here. You want something, let's say, for agency. When you click here, it is going to show you all the templates that are for agencies that you can be able to use. You can click to either preview it or if you like how it looks, you can use it. So this is the list. I'm just going to scroll through here. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Let's say I want to build a new business website and I'll click on business. 
and I come through this, I'm like, hmm, which one do I want to use? So I said, I like how this one looks here. Okay, this is an appointment. I click on insert. Just like that, the whole page is built instantly. So there's no need to drag anything over. It has this nice, beautiful way they've done it. There's no need to drag anything over, move anything. It's already built. Let's say I wanted to add something else. I click templates. Let's say I wanted to use the same style and I wanted to show the resources. Well, I'll just click on insert. And again, it shows you everything that's has just been built right in front of you. Nothing else to do. Now, if you want to customize these, meaning you want to change this image, you want to change the price, you put your mouse over here, you click to edit. You can change that price. Let's say you want it to be a, a different price. Well, you can put this to 55, whatever number you want to do, do um, with that. You can change the image. And this is another quick way for you to build your website. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys with quicks how quick it is for you to get your site up and going. And you can use the templates, you can use the sections, and you can you know optimize your images. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change this. Let me show you how the image optimization works. So I'm going to pick something. So when I go to Unsplash here, as so I said before, I'm just going to just pick this to show as an example. I'm just going to double click on something here. So this is the image that I am uh, installed from Unsplash. I'm going to double click on there. And you see the image is right here. But if you notice now, let's click on Apply. You notice now this right here, the optimized, optimized image turns into red. It turns red because it's telling you that this image needs to be optimized in order for this page to load faster. So anytime you see red hair, you don't want to leave it red. You always want to make sure that this is changed. Okay, so you want to click on optimize image. So if you haven't saved your page, it's going to give you this message here. You have to make sure that you first, let's save your page. Now, once that's been saved, then you can click to optimize image. And then you're going to see this. You have three options here. You have cancel, re-optimize, or optimize. If you've already optimized the image, then you can just click to re-optimize. But since we're having for this one, let's click to optimize. It's going to do its thing just like that. This little circus is going to spin. And just like that, the image has been optimized. And you can see now that this hair is turned into green. OK, so let's go over again to the SEO settings with the page rank, how that works. So go to SEO settings. I'm just going to put in here uh, page title and I click apply. And then I put in page title here and then put in page title. And you notice it's saying it's at the quicks rank is at 40 percent. Uh, so you have to do a little bit more. The higher that number then the better it is for your, you know, because you want it to rank as high as possible. So this gives you like an overview of how Quicks work. Um, just so if you're thinking about using it to build your site, you can certainly use it. So as we're looking at Gridbox now, uh, this one too has a lot of beautiful features in there. So let's take a look. So when you go on the website, Balboa.com, you definitely want to check that out. And you can download the free version to try it out. Or you can get the pro version for like $58, which is it's incredibly cheap. You know, uh, and this is a one time fee. You don't pay that every month. So when you go, you see two options here. You have the admin demo. You can take a look at that. And let's take a look now at the front end editor. And the reason for that is I want you guys to see the layout, how things are set up compared to Quicks here. And we're going to compare this later. So when you do that, when you set up, the first thing is going to ask you. You have to log in. You have to uh, because this is the pro version. If you have the pro version, you have to log in. So click on next. And once you do that, you get this interface with uh, this pre uh, this pre made template. Now, if you notice, one of the things that I really love about Gridbox is that there's space in how the space the items. I just love it. It's so clean. You know, all around the top, bottom, left, and right gives you a lot of space in. As with any other page builder, once you put your mouse over something, you can be able to edit, you can be able to copy, you can be able to add to your library. A library is just saying that, let's say you're going to be building the same thing over and over again. Well, instead of you having to rebuild everything from scratch, let's say this, this uh, testimonial right now, let's say you have a lot of them that you want to create. Well, instead of you having to create it every single time, you just add to your library, 
and you can always reuse that. And we'll take a look at that later on. You can also delete. So when you put your mouse here, you notice that you have three sections that are highlighted. You have this here for the row, which controls everything for the row. You have for the item, and then you have for the section. It's very important that you understand the difference between the three of these. This right now is covering this row, this entire row. So if I wanted to make a change to this row, I can do that without affecting anything else, okay? So you can see here the duration, you can see the effects, you can see the delay. Now you notice that each designer is going to have a way that they style, the way that they present uh, their items. So with this one here, they have a different styling of it. If you want to disable this section here on the desktop, when I do that, you notice that it's disappeared, it's no longer there. So anytime that someone uh, comes on a desktop, they won't be able to see this. So sometimes maybe you're trying to do A and B testing or split testing and you want to see how things differ from the browser compared to uh, a tablet or something. So if I click to enable this, now it's back on there. And then you have your advanced section here. You can make this to be for the public. You can make this section only to be for the users. Or you can change whatever you want it to be right here. So you can have this as bit full width. When you do full width, it stretches this content for the entire width of this section. And you can also make it to be full screen and it takes this whole screen right here. So let's just disable these two because we don't need that. And this is the animation effect. Okay, you can have the animation effect. You notice that bounce in, you scroll down, you have to bounce up. So with each, each item that you see here, you have the uh, flexibility for the section, the rows to do this. You can do the fade in. So you kind of have fun playing with this. Now let's go to the background. You can choose a background type. You can have a gradient. You can choose to have that linear. You can have an image. You have to upload an image uh, through there. You can have the parallax settings. So let's just select an image. A matter of fact, let's come back here and you can add, even add a video or you can just set it at none. You can choose the color with the color type. You can choose the different types that you want. Let's say I didn't want that color. I can choose, let me X this up here. I can choose that because it's shown like this because it's a gradient. And I can choose a specific color if I wanted to go like that way. And I can choose the angle to of the gradient that I want it to be. You notice I move it, it changes. I can choose the position. You can do that fading. So with each section um, here, a row, you can be able to do that. So I'm just click to exit. Now we've done some changes to that. So let's take a little bit more. Let's go back to the top. And as I mentioned before, each uh, designer or developer creates their own thing in a different way. So right over here, you have to save. If you're creating items, you want to make sure that you save it. You have the undo and the redo buttons at the very top. And you have your library. The library is where you put in all your, as I mentioned before, you can add different items to different sections. You can add items to uh, different uh, rows. So let me show you something here. Let's say, let me, let me choose one of this as an example. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add this to the library. When I click add to library, it's going to ask me to name, to name it, okay? I'm just gonna call this uh, green. Do I want this to be a global item? I can leave it as that for now. So when you have this uh, global item, it's going to automatically get updated for all, all the ones that you've cloned. So let's just click on save. And then let's go back here to the library. Now you see this green? If I'm building uh, a, another page and I want to incorporate this same green that I have on here, all I have to do is just drag it and just drop it over um, and it's going to take a second to load. And now you see, I've just copied everything over. So this is really great. As I mentioned before, if you're going to do something over and over again, you can just save stuff to your library and then you can be able to, um, use it later. So let's go back to undo that. And another thing that I want to know too, is you can be able to put your mouse in different sections and you can actually type right on there. So, if I wanted to edit this head sub headline, I can just delete it and I can put something here, whatever I want it to be. This is really great because you can edit your site as you're going. 
So you can change the heading if you want to change this section. Now, let's you want to change this background image. You come over here. This is the section. The image that you're looking at has to deal with the section. Let's go over to edit. And let's go over to background. Now, this is the image that you're looking at right now. Okay. And it's part of uh, one of these images. So let's say I wanted to change that image to, let's put this one. I click on it and I clicked it. Insert selected. Now we've just changed the background image. And you can see so simple, very simple. Uh, you can, if you don't want an image, you click down, you can add a gradient or you can even add a video. And the video, you can give Vimeo, you have YouTube. With the YouTube, you got to add your YouTube ID. And just like that, I have a background video. Now, this is a video that I did here in my studio. Uh, with YouTube, they have a URL that you have to copy just this ID for you to show it. So this is pretty cool. Maybe you want to showcase a background video instead. So let's say we don't want that video. Let's say we just want nothing. Well, we'll just leave it at nothing. Or you can have different colors. Let's say a gradient. Now, that's a beautiful gradient. So let's go back to this image. And we can select another image. Uh, let's choose this one right here. And then add. Okay, so now we have this. So it's, it's a really easy process, as you can see. So now let's take a look up here. Let's go over to this view. You can view desktop. You can view laptop. You can view tablet. You go to portrait. So you scroll through here. As you change, you notice that uh, the page itself is going to change based on what, whatever device you use. So that's one thing that's common with all the uh, page builders is that they show you this like that. And you go over to your settings with your settings. This is where you can set the title. You can set the alias. You can set the class suffix. You don't really need that for now. And you go over to the publish. If you want to make this specific page, as I mentioned before, just for where, let's say your members only while well, you put to register, that means that only members or people that have access to your account, to your site will get access to it. All you want to do special, when you do special or super user, no one else, if register users, they won't be able to log in. So you want to keep that to register if this is for the general public. And if you want to start to publish this in a certain date, you can use this date functionality here. You can also use the language. And let's go over to the SEO. This is your basic SEO title. You put your page title here. You put your description, your meta tags, your keywords for the robots. Now, if you want the robots like the Google bots to be able to follow an indexes page, you want to set this as index comma follow. Now, there are times when you don't want the robots to follow or index your page at all. So you can use the no index, but follow or index and no follow. So it gives a variety here. This is great for SEO. So let's go over to sharing. You can click an image that you want to this this page to be connected with. So I'm going to choose this one, for example. So what that means is that anytime that I share a link with someone, they are going to see this image uh, with the description, with the title of this page. So I was going to have the page title. They're going to see the image and then they're going to see the page description like this. So it's very key that you add this in every page that you have because it's a way for search engines to know what that page is about. It's also a great way for people to know what that page is about. And do you want to include this in your, your site map? You can have it included or sometimes you may not want to put things on your site map. So you want to have this monthly. Uh, does it change, you know, frequently? Does it change hourly? Sometimes you have pages that you change on, you know, a lot. So you can come here and you can change it and change the frequency, the priority for this. So let's click X. And then let's go to add to menu. Another great feature with this is to add to menu. As you are creating your pages, you can be able to add this page to the front end menu of your website. So once you do that, you click to the add to them. Let's go back here. So you go here and you click add to menu. It's going to ask you the menu title and it's going to ask you what menu do you want to put now, these menus should have already been created on the back end of your site. If you don't have any menus at all, then this won't work. So this is just going based off the menus that's already been created on the on the back end or the admin panel of your Joomla site. So I'm just going to put in here 
um, page title. You want to connect this to a specific uh, route. So we'll just leave it as that. And just, I'm not going to save anything. Now. I just wanted to show you how to be able to do that. And then right over here, you have your shortcuts. These are all the different shortcuts. And again, this is something that uh, make grid box different from other uh, page builders is that shortcuts are really great. It's showing you here that if you want to uh, save a page, you know, you, you type in control, you go control and S to save control Z, uh, control shift to redo. So you can use keyboard shortcuts here to be able to get things done a lot faster. And this is an additional feature that was recently added that it makes things so much easier to do and is really beautiful. And then you can go here to your dashboard. When you click on the dashboard here, it's going to take you to the back end of the site. So let's click to log in. And this is the back end here. Uh, and it shows you just the different, you have your pages, you have your blogs. And there's one key thing that I think that this make it a game changer for Gridbox and page builders uh, with these uh, ones that I'm reviewing right now. And this gives you the ability for you to create an e-commerce store. This is very, very huge. This is a big deal. Okay, because before, in order for you to build an e-commerce store, you would have to buy another extension and then integrate it with quick with with uh, like other page builders. But what these guys have done, this is a really game changer. You can be able to build your e-commerce store with Gridbox. So no need to purchase any additional extension. Once you have Gridbox, you can be able to come and able to build your store you know, accept payments, as you can see here, you can sell uh, different types of products. So you see, this is the store, uh, the product, you can add the price, the sell price, the skew, the stock. Now, I really love this. I really, really love this because before when I'm creating websites for myself or for clients and it's an e-commerce site, you know, I would have to go purchase another extension. I have to use this other page builder. I have to use different things. But with this one, it's all integrated right into it, okay? And if you've used any one of their, their extensions before, you notice that there's a uniformity that they have with all the extensions. So you can create your blog pages, uh, the Zero app, the portfolio, hotel rooms. It's just a lot of different things that you can be able to do. You can check out your reviews. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one, uh, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how it works and if you want to build an e-commerce store, you want to use the ultimate page, like a great page builder, then Gripbox gives you a lot of flexibility uh, to build your online stores. So let me see, what else did I miss here in my covering? So you can add social icons, you can add a new section. And when you click a new section, you can choose columns one, two, three, or four. Uh, this is pretty much up to the way that you want it to be. And then from here, you can click this add new plugin. When you click to add a new plugin, like we saw with Quicks, you can use these individual ones here. Uh, if you want to add a video, if you want to add a text editor, uh, let's say a video, for example. Now you have this video added. I'm just going to copy it out. I'm just going to paste my YouTube ID. So now the video right there is showing nice and neat. And let's say I want to add a different plugin. Let's scroll through here. What else do you want to add? So you, you have flexibility for you to add anything that you want. Um, you can do that. The same thing here. And I forgot to, to mention with your store, you can check your orders. You can check your payment method. You can check the shipping. You can create promo codes and product options and settings. Listen, this thing is beautiful, man. It's just, it solves so many problems. And when they started working on, on this here, uh, their shopping cart, when I tested it out, I was like, wow, man, I just couldn't wait for this to be out. So it's out now and it's really, really incredible. And then finally, we're going to take a look at SP page builder. This one has been around for, you know, longer than the other ones. Uh, and they've done tremendous changes and updates and, you know, it's loved by hundreds of thousands of people we should see, see here, 200,000. So let's try this thing. 
And before we do, we just kind of scroll through to see some of the features, what it can do. Uh, look at the add-ons here. One thing that is common with all the page builders is that they have an add-on. So you can add just about different things. Now they're designed differently, but yet they present the same thing. So when you come to SP page builders, you notice that you have a different layout than these here, because as I mentioned before, each developer designed things with how they, you know, what they want it to be. So with this one here, when you put your mouse over, you can edit everything you put your mouse over just like this. Every section is added, but you can move things around. You can delete things. Let's say you wanted to drag things over. You can move this section and drag this section over there. You can. Uh, so let me give you a quick overview for this one. You can click to close. You can click to open. So if you need more real estate space, you can do that. But then you click here to open it up. And let's go back. So this is all the different tools that you're going to need. So the add ons. These are add ons that you can be able to add. You can add an empty space. You can add flip box and you can drag it and drop it right on the page like this. I'm going to drag this form. And when you do that, you notice that you have this uh, gray thing highlighted. It's asking you where you want to put this new item. So just like that, I've, dr I've dragged that form over. So when you do that, you're going to activate all the features on the left column with this one. OK. So you see, you can be able to edit the things on the left side. So you click the mouse as where the other ones, you can do it on the pop up, but they have theirs uh, more on like an iframe set up in this section. So it's just different, uh, but it still works. So you click here, you can do the recapture. And if you want to delete, I click to delete as do you want to? I said, OK. Now it's gone. So this is where you have your your um, your add ons. So let's go to the blocks. The building blocks, you know, it's a great way for you to drag completely built items. Uh, as with the other page builders, if you need some design inspiration and you want to create, let's say you don't like this header, right? I don't like how this looks. So what I'm going to do is I can drag something to replace this whole thing here, right? So let's say I like this one. I can drag it over and I'll just drop it. And just like that, I've created a brand new header without even doing any type of design. Now I can do more work from here. I can edit each section. I can click here. Uh, this allows you to edit this items uh, for the slideshow. And this allows you to edit the items for the row. So as you move your mouse over, this is to delete. This is to if I wanted to hide this section, I can hide it. I can enable it. This is to copy. I'm mean, into paste. This is to copy. This is to save the row. Let's say that I wanted to save the row because I want to use it again for something else. I can just click on save and I can just put in new row and click apply. So if I ever wanted to use that same setup again, instead of having to recreate it, I can just use that. And then this right now, this is for the row options It's showing you all the options here that you want this to be fluid. No, that's what you get. But when it's fluid, it stretches it out. You go over to the style and with the style, you can set the minimum height. You can check for each device, how it's going to look and you can customize it based on, you know, the dimension. So if you want this to let's say desktop, you want it to be that you can set a different number for the tablet. You can also change the, the background to none, to color, to image, to gradient or to video. You can do that as well. So let's go back over here and take a look. So that's how the block section work. And when you click on a drop down, you can choose any one of these here to use as your building block. And they're really great because they've already been built. You just have to drag it over. So let's say you want content. Instead of you having to create content, you can just use this content block builder. And let's say, let's go back to, let's say I wanted to have, uh, let's see here. So let's go back to scroll up. And I want to, this to be the view and at the bottom too, you notice that you have the different uh, devices that you can switch from. So let's say I like how this looks and I want to drag it over. I'll just drag and I just put right there's the content. I can drag it and I can move that up or I can move it in different places. So you see, I've just switched over so easy to do that.
and let's see i click on this back so that's how the blocks work let's take a look now at the layouts the layouts are pre-designed templates that gives you a really great starting point as i mentioned in the beginning if you want to build a website but you need some design inspiration you don't really know what your site needs to look like you use the template sections here with this bundle you can isolate and see different inspiration ideas from this so as you choose here it's going to show you uh based on what you select so if i wanted to do a marketing page well i can click on this one here and i can choose to import it and i can take a look at the live demo so if you want to build a marketing page this is a great way for you to come and you can import this page It's going to import the page uh, for you and you can edit each one. And to edit is simple. Uh, you can just kind of put your mouse over and you can edit the sections that you want. So let's go back here. So that's how the layouts uh, work. This is a predefined template. You can choose uh, the the type here is going to show you to import it right away or if you want to see all the pages first before importing you can do this so there are 26 layout bundles that's a lot more than enough uh, for you to get started with so whatever type of business that you want to build you can be able to use this here so let's click off this next let's go over to the tools with the tools section you have your page setting this is where the page setting for this particular page you can choose the category um, categories are great because if you're going to be developing or adding a lot of pages, you want to organize them. So your categories are right there. And then your status, you want it to be published or unpublished, and you can choose your access. If this is going to be for the public or is this going to be for just the registered users, then you have your SEO. You can put your SEO description, your keywords, and your title, and also an image. So you want to make sure that you put an image. So when you sent this to someone, so I'm going to grab this right now. When you send it to someone, this is the image that they're going to see. And this is a description that will show up as well. So let's go back to the tools. Now you have the sections. Sections are really great. Remember, if not just uh, like a few minutes ago, I created that new row, a new section. Let's say I'm building an extra page and there's a section that I want to repeat multiple times throughout the entire website. Well, I don't have to repeat it and rebuild it from scratch. Right now I have a section. I can just drag it over just like that. So now instead of having to rebuild this, well, I create my section. If I wanted to use, let's say this part, I can save this part too as a section and it's going to come right over here. So let's go to my add-ons. Add-ons are different little add-ons that you can be able to save. This is different add-ons here. Um, you can save the add-ons like the sections as well. So next we'll go to import. The beautiful thing is that you could save this entire page and you can export it and you can import it now this comes in handy because if you want to transfer your website okay instead of you having to create everything from scratch you can just export everything and then go to the new set that you've installed uh, sp page builder on and then you could import it so now you have the export and the import feature and you can also have the empty content you can also have add to menu this is a feature that all the developers have added to allow you to add this to your menu. So you click the add to menu. It's asking you what menu you want to add it to. And you can just follow the process as we saw with, um, with Gridbox. And if you want to add a new page, you click here. You can create a new page from this corner. You want to click on X. You can close it. So this gives you an overall idea of how all of these uh, page builders work. So let's just kind of take a look now um, at each of them, their front end. So you have Quicks, you have SP Page Builder, and then you have Gridbox. So when you take a look at it, you notice that the design Quicks have everything at the very top here. So they don't have anything on the side, on the right, or at the bottom. Everything that you need is at the very top, which makes things very simple. Uh, let's take a look here at Gridbox. The design too is very minimalistic. You know, it has a lot of open space and it should put your mouse over it. It's easy for you to change each section. It's easy for you to delete things. It's easy for you to add things. You have, you can manage your page here. So it's very simple as well. And then you have the SP page builder look, uh, which has, let's come back to the add on which also gives you everything here. So when you first log on, you notice right here, you see everything that you can be able to add. 
So they give you a lot of flexibility. They give you so much things that you can be able to do. And all of them are drag and drop. Now, some of the benefits. Uh, so somebody wanted to know if you had to choose one out of all of these, which one would I recommend? It depends on what you're doing. All of them really works really, really great. You know, they work beautifully. So SP Page Builder, they have a lot of add-ons. One of the benefits is that they have a lot of add-ons that you can be able to use. And that comes in handy because when you're getting started, you want to try different things and see how they work. And I believe of all of these page builders, they have the most add-ons. Okay, so it gives you a lot more things that you can do with it. All right, so uh, in terms of Gridbox, Gridbox also gives you one thing. If you want to build an e-commerce shopping cart, like the all-in-one page builder, I would go with Gridbox because it has the ability for you to do your e-commerce. And they also have other extensions that you can integrate with it. But this gives you a lot that you need, pretty much everything that you need to be able to build your site. If you want to sell products on there, the benefit with this one is that you can utilize their products feature. You know, you can list products on there so you wouldn't have to go buy additional extensions and pay more to do that. Everything is done right here. And then when you take a look at Quicks, uh, their ranking feature is really great. Their image optimization tool is really great. And since everything is at the very top here, even if you're absolute, absolute beginner, you don't have to go anywhere else to try to search for something. You know, everything you need is at the very, very top. So I love all three of these and I definitely recommend them because I think that they can work great for your site. These developers have done such a tremendous job uh, and you can go with any one of these. But if you're looking to build like an e-commerce, if you're looking to sell things on your site, and you just want like something you can just put and just run with it. I would say great box really, really works great um, for that. Uh, they have the other extensions I mentioned before. They have the gallery, they have the forms that works beautifully with their design. Um, so it's, it's really great. You know, all of these guys have done a fantastic job and a great job. So that is it for the review. I would love to hear your, your, um, what extensions in terms of like page builders, which one is your favorite? You know, make sure you leave your comments below. I would love to hear which one you use. Why do you like it? And, uh, what have you built with it?